Hey everybody, welcome to another great week of outdoor education. Yes, we are inside today. Uh, it's been a really, really rainy week, so we thought we'd just go ahead and do a not lesson because that's pretty easy to do inside or outside. Now, knots can be used for a lot of different things, and once you learn how to use some basic knots, you can start using them all over. And so I'm gonna use bear as an example. We are gonna make five different knots to help uh, take him on a walk. Uh, but just because I'm using it to make a collar or a leash, it uh, doesn't mean that you can't use it for many, many other things. Well, let's get started. As you start, remember, you can stop, rewind, watch me tie it again, do that over and over, until you get the knot. And that's the nice thing about being able to watch this on video. Um, I know that some people get knots very quickly and some people take a while to get knots. You might get a little frustrated, but that's part of the fun because when you finally get it, you feel really successful. So there are three categories of knots that we're gonna work with today. There are connector knots. So we have the double fisherman and the square knot that we're gonna look at. And those are connecting two ends of a rope or two ropes together. We have a stopper knot, and this is the overhand knot, and that keeps things from sliding off the end. So that's a stopper knot. And then we have loop knots. Loops have a lot of uses, uh, whether it's something to hold on to, whether it's to go around something. Um, and so we have the bowline right here, and we have the overhand on a bite right here. So these are knots that we're gonna learn. So let's go ahead and start with our connector knots. Now, say I wanna make a collar for Bear. Uh, I've lost his for some reason. And I wanna connect two ends of one rope together to make a loop for his collar. And so you could try making a square knot. Okay, so here is the square knot. We're gonna take two ends of the rope. We're gonna go right, over left and under. And then I'm gonna go left, over right, and then pass under, and then pull on all four ends to get our square knot. And you can see that our square knot kind of looks like a square. And we kind of have these two horseshoe shapes that exist and the two colors come out on the bottom and then on the top. Now this is a great knot if you're pulling on it all the time. That said, if we get loose at all and just push the four back on each other, it loosens very easily. So this is a pretty good knot, the square knot, but we have to remember that if it loosens, it loosens very easily. So a better knot possibly for our collar could be the double fisherman. And yes, this looks like a little bit more complicated of a knot, but it has two halves. Once you know how to tie one half, you then know how to tie the other half. And you can adjust it to the size that you need. So let's go ahead and see how you tie the double fisherman. So here we're gonna tie the double fisherman knot We've got two ends of the rope that we're gonna to secure together. We're gonna to take those two ends and make them go opposite of each other. And we're gonna pull a good bit of rope down on either side. I'm then gonna put my hand over both ropes and stick my thumb out. Now I'm gonna take my loose end right here and I'm gonna go around my thumb twice. So I'm gonna pass it around my thumb the second time I'm gonna come closer to my fist, go around, and then once you go around the second time, you're gonna pull your thumb out, and you're gonna take that little tag end and put it through both loops you just took your thumb out. I'm gonna go ahead and pull tight, and then I'm gonna do the, just the same thing with the other end. So I'm gonna put my fist down going the other way, come around my thumb once, Second time, coming closer to my fist. Once I got those two loops, I'm gonna move my thumb out, take that tag end, put it through the two loops, 
that my thumb just came out, pull tight, I like to pull up on the bottom of the knot, and then pull the knots on top of each other. And if you did it right, your two crosses just stack right together and you end up with four stacks of rope on the back side. All right, y'all, let's see if Bear likes his new collar. Bear, let me have your head. We're gonna go ahead and put it on. And then we're gonna pull both ends away from each other to make it the right size, giving Bear a new collar. All right, Bear, we're almost ready for our walk. The next knot that we're gonna do is the bowline. And the bowline is gonna help us capture a loop around his collar. So it's how we're gonna attach a loop to Bear's collar. And so with this, you're going to make a turn. And then imagine in a minute, we're gonna go ahead and attach this to Bear's loop, but this is where we would attach it on this side. This is where we're gonna make the loop. We are gonna come from behind through that hole and then we're going to go around the part that is not going to bear so the part that is his leash we're going around the back side of that and then we're going back through that loop and i'm going to grab my tag end and my leash end and pull and again we have a very nice horseshoe that captures that and so as we pull on it it actually tightens on itself. And so this is the bowlin. And so we're gonna attach Bear's collar right here. Now I can't walk over and just put that on his collar. I've gotta actually tie it around his collar. So let's do that. Okay. So I pass this, the working end through Bear's collar right over here. I'm gonna make the loop on the other side. I'm going to pass that end through the loop. I'm gonna go around his leash end and then back through that loop, pulling then on the tag end and his leash end to tighten. And now we've got a rope attached to Bear's collar the last step is going to be the part that we hold on to. So as we go on a walk, if I don't have anything on this part of the rope and he sees a squirrel, he might just take off and that is just going to rip through my hand and it's going to rope burn and it's going to feel really bad and he's going to be taken off that way. So we need a couple of things to hold on to. We're going to use our stopper knot and our loop knot. Now the fun thing for this is that it's both the same knot, just once tied on a single strand and once tied on a double strand to give us two different knots. So I'll go through each of those. So the first one we're going to do is the overhand knot. So when you tie the overhand knot, you're going to make a loop and then you're going to take the end of the rope and come from the back side of that loop and pull through. Now, yes, it is a really easy knot. You've probably tied it many times before. Sometimes you call it the pretzel knot and you can see why. It's also called the granny knot, but I call it the overhand knot. So that is our overhand knot. When we tighten it down, it becomes a stopper so that I can hold tight and it won't slip through my hand. So this is nice in an emergency to be able to stop, but what we really want at the very end is a handle. And so we're gonna use our loop knot uh, to give us a handle. And so this time we're gonna make the overhand, but instead of using just a single strand, we're gonna use a bite, which means a double strand. So we're gonna put two strands together, and then we're gonna do that same motion for the overhand. And so I'm gonna make a loop, and then I'm gonna take the end and put it through the underside of that, and pull that loop tight, and that will give me our overhand on a bite, which makes a very nice handle. And so I have my handle and I have my stopper and I can use those both when I'm taking a walk with Bear to hold on to. Just to review what we've done today, looking back at Bear's collar and leash system, we've got the double fisherman that made his collar. We've got the bowline that attached his leash to the collar. 
We've got the overhand, which is a stopper knot that we can grab onto. And then we have the overhand on a bite, which makes our handle loop at the end. Thanks for learning with us today. Try these knots out and have some fun. Bye, y'all.